It's a part of psychiatry that focuses on the well-being of young people. And it's from literally not to up to their 18th birthday. And it can include a range of mental health problems all the way from developmental disorders like autistic spectrum disorders and attention deficit disorders to your core psychiatric conditions like mood disorders and psychotic illnesses. And it involves working in a multidisciplinary team systemically with other agencies as well as the young person. I like working with young people. Uh, I like working with young people and their families. Um, I like it that it isn't, this, the, the condition's still developing, so it's not very black and white. So you have to think a lot. You have to make sure you're questioning everything you do and you're formulating it, which is a key part of psychiatry. It's difficult with other parts of psychiatry where a lot of the illness is already developed. Whilst in child and adolescent mental health, we work with them right at the beginning, so we have the opportunity to change that trajectory. That is the one big chance to get it as right as we can to make a difference for these young people in the future. The advantage of child and adolescent mental health services is you don't work on your own. You have a multidisciplinary team that includes psychologists, occupational therapists, speech and language therapist, education, which is a big part if you're an inpatient unit, actually schools within the inpatient unit, so they don't sit outside. You've got the advantage of working systemically, and that means you work not just with the young person, but you work with the systems around them. So their family being the key bit, but you go out to schools, uh, you work with the school teams, you work with yacht services that are young offender teams if required, uh, you might need to work with the extended family, carers, social services is a key part of it. And it is quite satisfying because you get to do all the liaison, you get to do your complete detailed assessment. You then work with the young person and the family and make things better for them. The team was so friendly and that allowed me to get used to the team very quickly. Um, and also I was able to get involved in so many more activities and learning opportunities um, in comparison to other jobs. Within the West Midlands we have a, a large peer group which I think is really important for support, bouncing ideas off of each other and I think we're the biggest peer group outside of London. We have some large national centres within the West Midlands so you can do forensic CAMS, you can do learning disability CAMS, there's an eating disorder inpatient CAMS unit, so you can get all of that within the same trust and the same deanery, whereas I think a lot of other people doing CAMS within the UK would have to move out of deaneries to get that kind of experience. As a CAMS psychiatrist, you can really make a difference to these young people's lives. Most adult mental health problems uh, have their origins in childhood and, and development. So to be able to change the course of a young person's life, for me, is the most fulfilling thing about being a child psychiatrist. For any trainee who's thinking about a career within psychiatry and likes working with a range of different people and is interested in people as a whole system, then CAMS is the specialty for you. So I'd like to say welcome and see you soon in the future.